And you're probably wondering how lash extensions are actually applied. So I'm going to show a video kind of showing the application process so you can see how the lashes are applied. So first, the lash technician is going to make sure that your lashes have been washed. Either they'll do it for you or they'll have you do it ahead of time. They're going to put an under eye pad underneath your eye and they might use lash tape as well, depending on your eye, depending on the lash tech. Then they're going to prime your lashes, so they're just going to use tiny little brushes to clean off those lashes to make sure that there's nothing left over on the surface of the lash because we want the lash glue to actually stick to that natural lash. So if you've had your nails done before, think about it. They wipe your nail with the acetone to make sure that you have that nice, clean, dry surface for the solution to stick to. Then, so once everything is prepped and primed, you can see how long that takes just to get ready to get started. Then they're gonna start using two tweezers. So each hand will have a set of lash tweezers in it. And these tiny little tweezers are gonna file through your lashes and find one tiny little natural lash. And then they're gonna grab an extension, dip it in a tiny little amount of glue, and then they're gonna take that extension and apply it to that one individual natural lash. So you can see this is very um, you know, intricate work that they're doing. You can see why it takes so long because you have to go through one by one and apply those extensions. And how fills work. So what happens is the lash technician's gonna go in with their tweezers, their two little tweezers, and they're gonna remove any grown out lash extensions. So some of them get grown out. So the reason we need fills is because lashes are always shedding, they're always growing out, and so what will happen is sometimes our lash extension, our natural lash, will fall off with the extension, they fall off together. Just like the hair on our head is always shedding, the same thing happens with our lashes. The other thing is, even as our lash extensions are growing out, maybe they didn't actually fall out, but they've grown out, so now the extension grows out with them. What can happen when they grow out too far is the lash extension can actually twist. So you don't want them to grow out that far because it's too much weight on the natural lash and it's very uncomfortable for you if one of your lashes has flipped around and is hanging in front of your eye. It's happened to me before when I couldn't get in for a fill on time and it is so frustrating. Like you just cannot wait to get into that fill to get your lashes freshened up. So the lash technician is gonna go in with their two tweezers and they're gonna peel back very gently any of those grown out lash extensions. Of course, some lash extensions will have fallen out and some lash extensions will have been removed, which means now there's a bunch of natural lashes that need to have extensions applied. So the technician's gonna go in just like they did in your original appointment and start applying new lash extensions. When the lash extensions are getting applied, they're about 0.5 to one millimeter away from your eye, away from your eyelid. So they're gonna go ahead and start applying new ones closer to the eyelid so that you have a fresh set when you leave. Now this doesn't take nearly as long as the first set because a lot of the extensions will still be fine and can be still left on your eye. So week after week, you'll still be kind of hanging on to some of your old lash extensions. Now, how often do you need lash extensions? So you need to go in for lash extension fills usually every two to three weeks. Everybody's hair growth cycle is different. Everyone's hair is different. Some people really need fills every two weeks. Some people actually can wait as long as four weeks, depending on how their lashes grow. So just keep that in mind if you're gonna get lash extensions for the first time, that in order to keep them up, you do need to go in approximately every three weeks. If you have any questions at all, I know there was a lot of information in this video, please let me know in the comments below. I can answer any of your questions about lash extensions. And if you guys liked this video, please let me know by hitting that like button and that subscribe button below.